Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joanne and today we're going to continue with the wireless features as well but this time it's going to be about a splash page. There were a lot of people asking me to do like an introduction video with a splash page and this is it. So we're going to go through the different configurations that you can use the splash page, how it works. I went a real life situation where I'm going to try to access to a network and I'm going to see the splash page and then how to access after that. So I'm going to show you the whole deal in just this video for you to start using the splash page and how that works in your real life situations on your network. If you'd like to know more about different features in the Cisco Meraki, you can go here. You're going to see several videos about how to configure the features, some troubleshooting tips, or even how to automate your network with API. I strongly recommend you if you are starting seeing me in this video and you haven't seen the previous ones. So you can see the whole, the whole journey since the beginning all the way to here. Coming back to this video, and that's what we're going to do. A splash page, we're going to go through the different features, different places in the Cisco Meraki dashboard for you to use that splash page with the Cisco Meraki access points. So let's go to the dashboard and let's configure it. Great, so now that we are in the dashboard, we're gonna go and configure our a splash page for our clients. We're gonna configure two different splash pages so you can see the difference between the two. But the first that we're gonna do is go into the SSIDs and we're gonna enable our SSID for a splash page. So we can use this one. We're gonna name it splash page, like this. I think it's clever. And now we're gonna go and edit the settings. First, this one we can say that this is going to be our splash page for guests, right? Everyone who wants to enter to our premises is going to associate to that splash page. So we're going to leave it open. We don't have to require any uh, password to provide to any guests. And the splash page that we're going to use is the click throughs. So here you have different options. Click through is just show the splash page, click the button, and it can go ahead. Sponsor, sponsor guest login is a different one. So you have to enter a valid sponsor email. And the sign on, it means that you need username and password. The same thing is with the SMS authentication, it means that you're going to have a trial period of 25 text if you use it, but you're going to receive the authorization code via SMS. If you want to, if you have eyes already, you can use eyes to authenticate or a system manager, the same uh, uh, solution from Cisco Meraki or billing. Right now, we're going to use click through and then we're going to take a look to the sign on. Click through is just the user is going to view and acknowledge what is in the splash page and then click to move on. If we use click through in this one, there are some options here that are good to go. So for the captive portal strength, you have different options. You can either block all access until they sign on or click through and or they can, you can allow non HTTP traffic prior to sign on. Right now I'm going to block everything until they just acknowledge the what the splash page. You can have a wall garden. Disable or enable. This is if you want them to just access one specific page before logging in or before uh, acknowledging the splash page, you can do so. So in this case, just the ITY.net, the only way and the only website that they can go through. And this is another option that we're going to have. We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to touch it today. After saving that, first step is going to the access points to ensure that these access points broadcasting that signal. And we're going to use the same computer here to do all the steps uh, and test all the SSIDs. So if we come here, here you can see that yes, the SSID is being broadcast. So if I open this, I can see the splash page here. So what's going to happen when I try to associate to that SSID? I'm going to see this splash page. Here it says, welcome to the splash page and nothing else. But this is not what I want. I want to have some message for my customers and the guests that are coming in and some acknowledgement just to ensure that they know that I'm collecting some data here in the dashboard. To do that, we can go to wireless splash page. And here you can either configure your own or have some templates or even have a third party website hosted and then you can have it as well. Here we're gonna use the same interface here to configure our message. Here, welcome message. Here we can put the message. This is a message, that's good enough. And the user con consent, if you want to have it, you can have it. So you say here, consent here. In that way you can consent it. 
After that, you can have like the splash per frequency. Yeah, I want that to show every four hours. And if you want to go that after having that consent to send them to a specific website, you can put it here. So for example, after that, I want them to go to like ESPN.com because I like it. After it's saved, we're going to disconnect and associate again to the SSID and see what is the splash page that I'm showing up. So if I want to associate again, you can have it here. I'm going to see the splash page again, but now with the personalized or the customized message. This is a message and you must consent to the following access to the internet. Here you can put the, your description, your policies, and then have to consent and click continue to the internet. If you see, after click continue, you're gonna see the ESPN website because that's why you put it to uh, redirect after logging in, after consenting. And that's how you can see the click through splash page. But let's do another test. Now I don't wanna have the click through. What I want to have is a sign on. So I'm gonna have my pool of username and passwords in before the, the guest just to arrive to the location. And then I'm gonna provide the username and password to each guest just for me to control everyone that is logging in. If that's the case, what you want, you can use uh, the sign on with the different options. You have Meraki Cloud Dedication, we have Radio Server, the LDAP Server, and so on and so on. At the end, what you want is a database where you can corroborate the username and password and reject it or grant the access. Right now, we're gonna use the Meraki Cloud Dedication so you can see how it works. If you're gonna have a database, it means that you need to put in the list username and password, right? And this is where you put it, network-wide users. Ensure that here you're selecting the splash page because here you can use uh, different other options for users like client VPN. Here we have the splash page. This is our SSID. I'm gonna create a new one. So let's say user number two and then user two, the ITY.net, right? And the password will be user two. Authorize, yes. For how long? Let's put it one day. I don't want to say in the email. So now I have my database, I have my user, and I can provide that user and password to everybody that wants to log in in the splash page. Now let's disassociate again to the splash page to see how it looks like. Here you have it. The message that I have, right? The consent as well, and the email. Here I can put the username and password. I have the consent. And then the same situation is redirected to the web page that I want. So that's how the, you configure the two main splash pages that you're gonna have. It's using these kind of options. And this is the most common way for you to have like a click through where you can put all the information from your company or anything that you want to share to everyone with the open ID. Or if you have a more restricted way to uh, grant, grant this access to your clients, but still they need to consent something and they need to watch or see one specific message. And after that, you have the full power to say what is the next thing that they're going to see, which is another website. And that's how you can figure the splash page here in Meraki. And that's how you use the splash page with the Cisco Meraki access points in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. So you were able to see there were different options. You can use sign on, we can use click through, and even you can customize your own splash page. I'm going to do another video on how to use the custom host splash page because it's a little bit more complicated and takes more time. And if you want to know more about the different features in the wireless or even other the switches, the cameras of the MXs, you can go here. We have a list of different features in the configuration steps or even troubleshooting tips on how to automate your network as well using API. And that's how you use the splash page and the configuration in the IT way. See you in the next one.